Hello everyone and anyone, anyone, excuse me, I have the hiccups who has, um, uh, continued to watch my videos. This is my 55 gallon, uh, South African cichlid tank. I had an Oscar in it. Much has changed, excuse me, much has changed since my last video. This is day five. I am still in a, ba excuse me, bacterial bloom. Um, and guess what? I had to add um, some medication to it. One of my new cichlids that I got yesterday and put, put in the tank, um, had possibly ick, um, had like a, a slimy coating on one of its sides, which it's my Salvini. Um, not on this side, it's on the other side. If it was turned around, you could see it. Uh, <clears throat> so unfortunately I knew that fish, see it? So when I seen that and it kind of just sitting around and not being active like they're known to be, I knew something was wrong. So I went ahead and I have treated this tank. I also had to take my Oscar out. Why, you ask? Because she decided that she wanted to eat um, my other cichlids that come in here. Uh, even though they're big enough that she can't feed on them or anything, she was aggressively striking um, and trying to kill them. So I had to immediately get her out before she killed <laughs> all of my cichlids that I just put in here yesterday. And so let me tell you what I've got. I have got a Texas cichlid, which is this guy right here. Guy or girl, who knows? Beautiful, beautiful fish. I can't wait to do a video when my water is actually clear so you guys can really see the colors on these guys. So I got, there's one of the four that I got. Um, and then this is also one of them, the Salvini, which you have seen. Um, then I got a Jack Dempsey. And in here, Somewhere, probably in this vlog, <sighs> they sold me a Midas fish. They said Midas fish, but I kind of think it's a red devil. Um, I'm actually going to do a video on that and when, when he or she is out. And I'm going to do a video and ask, so see what people say. Um, they think she is, if she is a, a red devil or a Midas. But, and that's old Danny O swimming around. Things got so crazy once the Oscar um, <laughs> started being the way she was being. Um, you can't see down in there. But anyway, yeah, there's a Midas or a Red Devil, one or the other, um, is also in this tank down in that log. I have put habitats in for each one of them so that each one have a little hidey spot. They really like that. Um, and, oh, no. The red devil is actually, or Midas, whatever that may be, is up in that one. She like goes up in there and then just kind of chills at the top. Uh, she is so far the most aggressive. That one right there is the most aggressive out of all of these. She's the boss of this tank now that the Oscar's out. But she is also the one that the Oscar was after the most. Um, the Oscar come up from underneath her and grabbed her by the belly, but underbelly, and shook her very violently and then just was non-stop bullying and harassing her, like wanting to kill. So, we couldn't have that. So, it looks like I'm going to be getting another tank because I'm loving my new cichlids. Um, so, I think I'm just going to get another 55 um, just for my Oscar. And let her just grow up in that. Her and Ozzy here can go in the tank. Her tank mate. That's the only one that she obviously can, uh, or is willing to deal with. <laughs> but anyway, don't want to bore you guys to death. Um, so just, uh, again, an update. Day five, bacterial bloom. Um, added some fish yesterday to it, which is supposed to help. But uh, now my water is all crazy colored because of the medication that I have put in it. I've got a, um, I got the jungle, um, fungus clear tablets and they stay in the, the water 
but it's uh, it's worth it to go ahead and get rid of whatever's going on. So uh, she's obviously the Salvini is uh, already feeling better. It seems like because she's out moving around more, um, she's eating. So the medication is already helping, and I just put it in probably about five hours ago. But uh, I'll do another video and keep you guys updated. Thanks for watching. Um, hope any of this helps you in any way. I don't think it's very educational for many people other than just seeing kind of what's out there and what can happen. Um, but I'm glad to share. Oh, and here's another thing. This is what I'm feeding my cichlids. This stuff right here. Uh, Tetra cichlid floating cichlid sticks. Then I got the cichlid flakes. And I also got the cichlid XL, which gives them the greens that they need um, right there. So, I'm never ever again going to feed live. It brings too much crap into the tank. And I, I don't know what this dude is doing here, but she's, he or she's like, Sal is like really checking out Ozzy. Like, what's up? But anyway, so, alright, stay tuned. I'll post another video as things change. Thanks for watching, guys.